Finally tonight, essayist Richard Rodriguez of the Pacific News Service has some thoughts about log cabin Republicans. Mr. Smith has come to Washington. I am not speaking about Jimmy Stewart, but Richard Taffel. Rich Taffel, he calls himself. Grew up in Pennsylvania, an American kid. The boy next door, a straight arrow. He went to college, then to a theological seminary, became an ordained Baptist minister. In Washington now, Taffel is a man in a dark suit, a man with a mission. He heads a group called Law Cabin Republicans, an organization of lesbian and gay Republicans. After the GOP convention of 1992, when Republican politicians like Pat Buchanan called for a national politics of family values, it must seem to many people an oxymoron or even a joke, the notion of a gay Republican. The first line of a riddle, what is a gay Republican? A gay Republican is someone who is born with a gay sexual orientation and who supports the principles of the Republican Party. Pretty simple. Usually it's around fiscal issues, um, smaller government, less government, it's better government. Usually uh, on foreign policy, you know, a stronger foreign policy, strong pro-military. Those would be sort of the issues I think that most people would be Republican for those reasons. As far as being gay, we're born with that sexual orientation. Americans used to worry about the threat from without. Now we worry about what we euphemistically call the inner city. Kids with guns, kids selling drugs, kids without dads. The malaise, we fear, is also suburban. The middle class family is in disarray. Mom doesn't want to be mom anymore. Dad forgot how to talk to the family. Kids at the mall are drunk with despair. And the most famous people in America are politicians, are rock stars, are movie stars, are sports heroes, are in various ways moral failures. Many Protestant fundamentalists and conservative Catholics will tell you that at the center of the moral decay is the gay revolution. The red threat has turned lavender. Homosexuals are coming out of the closet and into our classrooms as teachers. Gay couples are demanding legal standing as married couples and the right to adopt. The gay rights movement to date has largely been a movement of the political left, insistent on legal constitutional protections. But Rich Taffel, the Republican Baptist minister, insists on the moral stature of gay Americans. I think there's a tendency for people to want to ignore the moral, um, particularly a lot of gay activists have simply argued you know, we want to approach this as a political issue, leave us alone. Um, but the reality is, if the American public is convinced that homosexuals are inherently evil and dangerous and a threat to the American family, uh, we'll never be treated equally. There is a great political struggle now in the Republican Party. On the one hand, there is the party of someone like Pat Robertson, his call for moral renaissance in America. On the other hand, there is the GOP of someone like Barry Goldwater, his insistence that the government has no business in anybody's bedroom. The organization calling itself Law Cabin Republicans is a ridiculously small band with 8,000 members. These Republicans did not vote for the re-election of George Bush, but they did support the recent successful election of Republican moderates like Mayor Rudolph Giuliani in New York and New Jersey's Governor Christine Whitman. Upon his election in Los Angeles, Mayor Richard Reardon acknowledged Law Cabin's support as, quote, a significant factor in my victory, unquote. So are you going around and seeing a lot of people today? Or? Yeah. In multicultural, multi-religious America, moral questions necessarily become political issues. We turn to the State House or the Capitol. We lobby congressmen to settle the great moral questions of our civic life, like slavery, or the equality of women, or the rights of the unborn. So the executive director of Law Cabin Republicans lobbies a congressman for equal rights and protection for gays in America. But does this Baptist minister want something more from Americans? Absolutely. I, I, you really nailed it on the head there. I think that my religious side absolutely does call for the realization that gay people are good people. Beyond the political looms the moral. Just what do you make of your lesbian daughter or your gay nephew 
or your uncle who, you know, never got married. Just what do you Americans make of a Baptist minister from Pennsylvania, this Republican in dark suit and tie? What kind of moral statue do you credit the homosexual? Do you acknowledge your moral kinship to them, to him, to me? I'm Richard Rodriguez.